z Call of Horrors Gunsliner jest to już nas piąty odcinek wiem odcinki są krótkie po 10 minut coś takiego ale to robimy każdą misję i tak dziękuję, dziękuję wam bardzo za wszystkie łapki które oczywiście dajecie i kontynuujemy nagrywam to po tamtym odcinku nie wiem czemu powiedziałem to wszystko no ale mam kolejną misję jeden wspaniały Motherfucker. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. Nie mam punktu żadnych. Nie. Dobra. It makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. Hello, my friend. I thought you were going to be a bad guy. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in '48. Unfortunately, prospectors okay. weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves, and killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that ran with plumbing. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. Every time. Next to Sophie. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to break. Dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in Hello. way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. I thought I was some kind of hero. Uh -huh. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something Let I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. But once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Oh, my friends, uspokojcie się trochę. Uch, 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 słote. You're done. Złoto moich przodków. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Not so. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Hey, I'll flank him. No, no. I do not deserve to die like this. No, no. 
Wy nigdy kurwa nie, nie, nie zasługujecie na śmierć. Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily pushed back. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. <laughs> With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what Ooh. he's shooting at. Someone's all it know, takes eh? is one tiny spark, and boom. Someone has to know. The fuck? Take that asshole out! As a boy, I always loved the 4th of July. Surprise! Okay, now you're really pissed me off. Ooh. Why did you live in such a place where you could kill someone like a bullet? One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted tomb. Oh no. Jak nie forest. I freely admit that my plan of attack is not just more wrong. Oh yeah. Clearly in sight. Yes. Yeah, nigga. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. <laughs> no, albo zajebić. Ale dostałem jeden funkcji. Tak. Instead, I spotted a ladder. A way into the mine from the opposite side. Okay. Schodźmy It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Na pewno. Of course, na, na pewno. and I had a problem with heights. That scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Yeah, I'm good at even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Oh, okay. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. Forest. I was determined not to give up. Fuck. Yeah. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. A wezmę windę. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. No. Już. Arabiety. Już. Nad nie wbiłem na górę. Jesus. Plummer was a mad dog killer. And the people of Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's ah. neither here nor there. The point the was taking him down would save a lot of lives, okay. including my own. What now, nigga? So Henry Plummer Nice Cover water Boom Well this day is just getting worse and worse for you Hey Henry yeah, Plummer was yeah. really unhinged and I could see right away that this was gonna take some doing Jonas, it's Arabe. 
Okay. Chłopaki, zabijecie mnie? Chodźcie, no. Nie wiem, zobaczę, krok od śmierci. O, chodź, plamer. Czy masz plamę? Cholera. Nie wiem co się dzieje. No nie. Kurde. Będzie trochę trudno. Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, Beautiful. I was officially a bounty hunter. O tak, więc ono teraz w tym odcinku ludzie. Kurde, matko boska. Dzieje się. Oh my God. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Bye bye. Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Harden. So that's where I went. Wesley? Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Harden as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Okay. Episode 4. Nice. He killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Hickok. Co za kok? Okay, ludzie, to było na tyle. Dziękuję wam bardzo. Bardzo mi daje, jeżeli się mówi, że zostawcie 35 palców w górę. Wiem, że pewnie mi nie rozumiecie na koniec, jak zawsze coś mówię, ale dziękuję wam bardzo. Mój dla smaku, że zostawiacie się i na razie.